quiet on the set. Is it is it recording? So what are we doing here today? This is Hired or Fired. We interview qualified candidates for jobs that are a little bit unconventional. We just don't tell them what the job is until after the interview. So how do you think this is going to go today? I think the interview is going to go terribly. Got really distracted by the penis. Nothing says tough love like a gun. I have tried. Maybe a little bit of like sexual passion. Who do you think can work me up the most? I would do anything for money. I killed Vince Vaughn. I'm not looking forward to this. Welcome back to another episode of Hired or Fired. My name's Sandwich. My co-host Nandre will be here shortly. I'm here already. We spent company money on that and you just green screened yourself in the same exact room that you're already in usually. Don't lecture me on the budget. Who do you think you are? The CEO of this company? Quite literally, yes. They are a fearless leader. So they got that going for them. This is a division of the company that I think we severely need to develop more, especially I think in my case, I, I'm really looking uh, forward to this. Welcome in guys. How is it going? Oh shit, hi. Oh, <laughs> hi, welcome in. Hi. hi. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. over here just on Twitter. I am 22. First of all, I wanna say I'm sorry for being white. And uh, and yeah, that's, that's about it. Who are you? Oh, Anthony. <laughs> I feel like Anthony just kind of walked into the job interview and didn't actually know where he was until we started giving him the actual interview. Sorry, yeah. I was going through my blackmail folder for Anthony. Uh, my name is Vic Foolery. I am here. Two absolutely chaotic people. I don't expect them to adhere to any of the important rules we laid out for the interviews. So first off, what got you into this field? Honestly, it's a family thing. People have the religions, but this is my religion. Mm. Uh. <laughs> my middle school rival got into this and uh, I can't let her win. I have to be better, I have to be stronger, I have to be faster, as Daft Punk once said. What qualities do you think you have that make you cut out for this field? I practice this everywhere I go. <laughs> <laughs> I would say my biggest role model in my life is my sister. I, she taught me how to do this. <laughs> my my sister, for sure. I, I, I ta She taught me everything I know. When we do get together, it's one of those treats that, uh, you know, it goes into my core memory, for sure. We've heard that you guys have worked with some Hollywood stars. We were just wondering if each of you could give a name, you know, just who you've worked with. I killed Vince Vaughn <laughs> doing this. I don't really think anybody could have expected that, you know? Yeah, and then, and obviously Zoe Deschanel and, and uh, you know, Conan O'Brien and... Um... Uh, Seth Rogen and I shared a beautiful moment, um, mm. and I think that was, you know, what really proved to me that I was going to beat Sarah, my middle school rival, because if I can bag Seth Rogen, what does she have? Um, the rivalry is simply too strong. We, we can't be in the same room as each other without there being uh, just absolute anger and also maybe a little bit of like sexual passion we haven't we haven't worked that out also the long island medium oh, wow. the nails did get in the way oh, wow. a little bit you know, sometimes people say i look like the long island medium when i take my hat off it's Amen. the hair <laughs> no the mm. days are long and hard so i want to know after a toughie at work when you get home what do you like to do to relax listen the days might be long and hard but i am longer and i am harder Especially when it comes to this task. I tend to just shit everywhere when I get back. I feel defeated. I shrivel up. I kind of just feel guilty about myself. And I just kind of just take things to, into account and just defecate right mm. on the spot. Maybe so, this isn't healthy for you. As your employers, we make sure that we can provide you with the tools that you need to get the job done. So if you could each individually tell me a tool that we could provide you that would help you. Um, C-clamps. <laughs> you can put them a lot of different places. They're versatile and they're cheap. So, you know, by hiring me, you're, you're saving some money. I would say no tools because I, I just like to use my hands when it comes to these things. <laughs> but, 
when you're working, do you like to listen to music? And what kind of music do you like to listen to? Smooth I, jazz. Next question. You like jazz? I like to listen to every non-hit that Nirvana has ever had. <laughs> and then... <laughs> And then kind of just go through uh, Shakira's, you know, dance routines from the Super Bowl. Whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I, I, just like, yeah, yeah. I get and the then classics. It, I, oh, yeah. really? No, please, please, Anthony, continue. Well, you know, Tell there's us more the about thing Shakira. Like, well, <laughs> <laughs> name two things you know about Shakira. I'd love to hear. Uh, have, sh hair. <laughs> and look. Look, I, I, I get it, right? It's like, you know. <laughs> I got out of bed for this. I'm gonna show you a couple pictures and I want you guys to just let me know if you've worked with this particular client, okay? Um, Here's the first the one. stop sign, yes. Oh, oh okay. fuck. Yeah, we were on the set of Superbad and uh, there would be long days in between uh, scenes. We would often do this in the trailer when we had free time. It really made the movie memorable, if, mm. if you know what I mean. What about this one? <laughs> yes. yes. Repeat customer. He's always bugging me about it. Yeah. He's always, when can we do it? <laughs> When's the next time we, we can get to work? And I'm like, hey, yo, Snoop, Snoop, it's chill, right? Yeah. Like, mm. he don't be so, you know, yeah. fun about it. What so. about this one? That's the guy from uh, The Maze Runner. Yes. What about this one? Oh my god, dad! What celebrity would be my dream client? This person isn't alive anymore, but I would probably say Charlie Day. Wait, he's not canceled, is he? Wait, did you think he was dead? What celebrity would be my dream client? I think that Nicolas Cage would really benefit. He seems like he already keeps it trim and proper, but I just think, you know, every once in a while you gotta get a professional in there to do what needs to be done. What is your mission statement? It's changed as I, as my, my business has grown. It comes down to drill them down to keep their hopes high. Uh, <laughs> okay, Banff, go ahead. Never stop. Period. Never stop. Okay. Never stop. <laughs> Okay, good. That was weird. And Here's my question, you know. Who do you think can work me up the most? Because I got a lot going on here that I'm going to need some help with. That's really all I'm in it for. Okay. I'm working with a Persian rug. Yeah, I know. It just... I got a high thread count, you know? Yeah, it's a lot. Maybe we shouldn't mix business and you. At the end of the day, all that matters is if they can take care of my little caterpillar, if you know what I'm saying. Hi, well, welcome back in, you two. You two were interviewing for a professional manscaper. <laughs> we're really excited you both Great. did moderate at best. The problem mm. is we don't want to deal with a fatality issue. And we're afraid that Banthony might just go a little too hard, uh, too much sauce. So Mick, we're really excited to bring you on. You're, uh, you're hired. That's fair. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's I, fair. Sarah, fucking suck it, your ass. Your <laughs> I was fired. I let's just say I, they're 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 gonna they're out, they'll have to call me back. I, I I didn't get the job at the moment, so uh, you know we'll see down the road. Mick, I'm gonna be your first client. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> hey. I was I was hired today. I feel emotional and positive. I feel like I could really you know get out there and, and take on the world. I could do whatever I set my mind to. Mick got hired and Banff got kicked to the curb. So what's manscaping? He got fired. Yeah, honestly, that one was just for me. I want my chest to feel like a slip and slide so I can just fling Pringles up from my belly button when I go oh, right into my mouth, you know? Yep. Big Pringus, they like to say. Hey, no, you say that. Okay. I am incredibly motivated for this next interview. This is one of uh, the roles at the company. I'm going to have hooked up with the direct line in my office, you know, every morning. I need that extra effort there. That's my tall cup of coffee. Hi, you two. How's it going? <laughs> We're really excited that you came to us today. Um, it looks like abroad. CBC, where are you coming to us from? Train. <laughs> Hi, my name is Cardboard Cowboy, and um, I'm a cowboy uh, who's cardboard. I heard you are expanding to our region, ANZ, yes. It's really, I'm really, really excited to hear what you've, uh, you've got to offer for us. My name is Littles. 
I'm originally from Australia. I live in New Zealand and I do true variety on my Twitch channel from Just Dance, cooking, gaming, uh, awful Nintendo Wii games. If it's okay, I brought a little like gift. It's not a bribe or anything. I just thought like to celebrate that you're expanding to ANZ, I would bring something along. You might have heard of it. It's a Vegemite. If you're not from Australia, you're gonna you're gonna hate it. CBC, go ahead. What got you into this field? I mean, come on, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> what else was I gonna do? I used to spend a lot of time just digging holes. Okay, like <laughs> digging holes, digging down, digging deep down into the ground. Yeehaw. I think I've said enough. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. What are some qualities that you think make you cut out for this field? It's good that I'm not made out of cardboard. I'm a I'm a person. I'm not going to blow away in the wind. Uh, heaven forbid <laughs> if someone push, pushes him out of the uh, the train into the lake, he's going to turn into mush. Sorry, there was no filter. <laughs> I have a lot of free time. I like money. I would do anything for money. So I think I'm, I'm the one you need. Well, I wouldn't threaten my opposition. That's for sure. I think that's, <laughs> that alone, you know, says a lot about my character and what I could bring to the job. I wouldn't go around just threatening to push people off trains. Also, I'm not trying to bribe you. So that's, mm. what was the question again? Yeah, not important. <laughs> There's a lot of different ways to take an approach with this job. I want to know if you think tough love or gentle encouragement is the better method. I think um, a good combination of the two is a bit of this. <laughs> ba -bam, ba -ba -bam, bam. Into some of this, you know? Oh my God. Okay. Oh, yeah. Careful. Oh, don't. Oh, oh God. my God. Oh, Nothing says tough love like a gun, you know, yeah. what I'm, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Judge me by my results and not by my methods, because my methods are somewhat unethical. Honestly, pretty impressive. Have either of you guys made a client cry before? If they don't cry, I consider myself a failure. So. <laughs> I need to know who your greatest inspiration is. My brother. <laughs> <laughs> He actually inspired me into this industry. Yeah, CBC, go ahead. Uh, Little's brother, actually. <laughs> <laughs> He's a great guy. We would like you to tell us about a time that you had a really rough day at work, overcame a lot of obstacles. How did you overcome that? One time I was at work and I actually, um, I went to get my materials out. I got so distracted and I just played with my duck for like half an hour. <laughs> By and left. No, there is no romance between me and my duck. These rumors, I tell you. Before I was a lamp, now it's a duck. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. I'm very easily distracted and, you know, <laughs> hey, what's that? <laughs> yeah. Nandri's gonna place himself in a situation that you would commonly find your clients in, okay? You guys both supplied me pre-interview with some adjectives, nouns, verbs, and what we've done is we've really taken the spirit of your work style and we've turned it into a uh, motivational speak, per se. And what we want you to do is to read it to him as passionately as you possibly can, okay? Whenever you're ready, go ahead. Nandre, <laughs> I want you to boldly behave in the direction of your dreams. Remember, the only way you can eliminate is if you give up. Every time you eliminate, you come one step closer to my brother. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy. You are not cumbersome. You are not weak. You are dry. Dry. You are not ordinary. You are enormous. <laughs> <laughs> but don't ever give up. Even when the going gets 28, <laughs> keep your nose to the bottom of the well and just keep on going. That was good. That was pretty good. CBC, your turn whenever you're ready. Boldly jump into the direction of your dreams. Remember, the only way you can slosh is if you give up. Every time you slosh, you come one step closer to horse. <laughs> you are not scared. You are lazy. You are not weak. You are jolly. You are not ordinary. You are elegant. <laughs> when the going gets worried, keep your nose to the book and keep on going. <laughs> 
Did you have any uh, any luck over there, Nadre? Uh, you two did a great job. My my butt cheeks thank them. One final quick question. Give me your uh, mission statement. Littles, go ahead. Um. Jiggle, jiggle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Am I right? <laughs> I mean, how do you follow that? I don't. Oh, oh, wait for it. Oh, 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 oh. Where do I submit? Yeah, no, that's good. Oh, wait a minute. I think that. Wait, it's not? I think it's we've been a it's little a, mis. It's a rabbit. I would never draw a big, massive penis. <laughs> okay. What do you think? Um, I'm sorry. It just, it was staring at me. I was staring at it. And, okay. <laughs> Um, hey, look, a duck! Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Definitely no romance. It's a duck, okay? We'll see you guys in a second. Wow, that was... I got really distracted by the penis. I'm not going to lie. When I was sitting on that porcelain throne there, I was inspired to pursue royalty. It was mm. better than any squatty potty I've ever used. That's fair. If we're going to bring this in as a division, why don't we just get both of them? Like maybe one on each side, like one in this year, like you're shit, you're trash. You'll never live up to the way your dad is always going to be disappointed in you. And then the other one will be like, honey, you're doing a great job and I love you and I'll never leave you at the grocery store again. I should call my mom. <laughs> I should call her too. We're looking to bring you uh, in for the constipation motivation coach. This might be oh a little God, bit- Oh God, my drawing. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, you're drawing in the- Here's the thing, every butt has two cheeks. So we figured, heck, why don't we bring both of you in? Yes? Yeah. Well, you work work yeah. And my brother? I think yes. three might be a crowd. <sighs> A little bit disappointed, but I see that uh, three could be a crowd. You know, some people might get like stage fright. I did want Little's brother to get hired because I think the three of us would make a great trio. Look, do you <laughs> okay. want the shit to blow or not? I mean, as long as y y maybe yes. That's the correct answer. <laughs> we will take this job. Okay, yes. fantastic. <laughs> we both got hired today and um, I think, you know, the more the merrier. I got hired, yeah, somehow. <laughs> I said the more the merrier, but I think everyone should be involved except for the duck. Plus we don't want shit on the duck, because that's, that's no good. Good to have you guys. Thank you for being here. You both did great. Thank, Thank you for you. the opportunity. Please leave your gun in the lobby. Okay, wow. I'm excited to take shit. Yeah, it's okay. Interesting. Um, so how do you think this went today? Well, I would say it was a strong set of interviews today. You know, the company is looking to be in tip top shape coming into quarter four here. I think we're just doing the best with what we've got. 